had a rare form of leukemia called juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, JMML. There's only about 30 cases annually, and uh, she was given a 20% chance of survival. Well, JMML is really aggressive. It's a really aggressive type of uh, cancer. Um, so the white blood cells multiply at a really rapid rate. What it does, you know, your white, your white blood cells are your immune system. So it attacks any sicknesses in your body. Well, when you have, when they run rampant, then it kind of attacks everything in your body. So that's what it was doing, and it was attacking everything. She, by the time she had gotten into Phoenix Children's Hospital, she, she had an enlarged liver, an enlarged spleen, um, enlarged tonsils. So she was having problems swallowing. We didn't know she wasn't a fussy baby at all. So uh, she didn't give us any signs that she was even sick. But uh, we definitely had to attack it pretty, pretty quickly. JML, JML is such a rare diagnosis overall as far as leukemia is concerned, nothing like that. But JMML, primarily the J stands for juvenile, so they very, very rarely find it in little ones that young. Um, the form she had is so aggressive that had they not caught it when they did, they caught it because they were because of the staph infection and the high elevated white cell count. Um, but the assumption is that when they originally, when she had the staph infection and her white cell count was so high, assumptively she already had it then, they just haven't properly diagnosed it yet. So then as her white cell count continued to elevate, because I think what the normal white cell count is 10 to 15,000. A normal white cell count is between 5 and 15,000. Uh, in June of 08, she was in the 70,000s. And that's when she was fighting staph infection, but the cells didn't look leukemic. So they said, let's wait till August at her one year checkup. We'll draw her blood, see what's going on then. Uh, at that point, they drew her blood, sent us on our way. I get a phone call from her pediatrician at two o'clock in the morning saying, where's Bailey? It's two o'clock in the morning, she's in her crib. What do you mean, where's Bailey? He said, the labs just called me. Her white cell count is almost 100,000. I thought you guys were in the hospital somewhere. She was 13 months at diagnosis, she was 15 months at transplant. The transplant was a success and put her in remission, but we don't know how long she had it prior to that. We know that when she was 10 months old, she had elevated white cells. She had uh, a staph infection at that time. And they, uh, they were, one of the signs of JML is that it doesn't appear leukemic. The white cells do not look leukemic, they don't give any signs. So when they saw that she had an elevated white count, it, uh, they did not necessarily think that it was leukemia. They thought maybe it was just elevated because she was fighting a staph infection. So we really don't know when it started. She wasn't symptomatic yet, but they were able to diagnose it early because of the checkups for the staph infection. But I mean, within a couple of weeks of, I mean, pretty quickly once she was admitted to the hospital, she started showing some signs. Now we are late September, September 25th actually is the day she was diagnosed. I took her back into PCH. She was ghostly pale. Her uh, red cell count was down to a 5 and that's supposed to be a 10 to a 12. So she needed an emergency blood transfusion. And then other indicators were an enlarged liver, an enlarged spleen. She had a rash on her skin that was smooth to the touch but it looked like prickly heat. Uh, and all of these are indicators of JMML. JMML is diagnosed through a series of exclusions. Bone marrow transplant was the only treatment option. Uh, it was, you know, diagnosed pretty much to be fatal unless she had a successful bone marrow transplant, and then you know, the, the, the odds of success on that treatment are about twenty percent, twenty percent or less, and uh, you know. The biggest, um, there's two major components to that. One is it's really hard to find a match, which you guys probably know from research you've already done. Finding a, a match for a bone marrow transplant is very difficult, but lucky, lucky for us, her brother was a perfect match, um, which isn't always the case. And then beyond that, once you actually find a match, you know, the technology for the actual transplant itself was a little bit hit and miss. Um, we were blessed in the fact that 
literally the, the same year that Bailey was diagnosed, they had just started a new bone marrow transplant program at Phoenix Children's Hospital. I think it was just they told me that I was going to save someone's life with my blood. And um, I had no idea that I was going to meet my sister. Her brother saved her life, and of course he's very aware of it. He, made, he reminds her constantly that, hey, I saved your life. So after transplant, so transplant was November 13th, November 29th, she was actually put into the ICU. Uh, she was not, she was retaining fluid, and it was starting to crush the organs in her body, and so they wanted to put her on dialysis. Well, in order to do that, they had to put a catheter in her neck. She's 15 months old, of course she's going to pull it out, so they decided to sedate her, put her into a medically induced coma. When they did that, they found that her lungs were at half their capacity because her abdomen was so full of fluid. She was going into multi organ failure. It's called graft versus host disease, where the donor cells come in and attack the recipient because they're doing their job. They got these healthy, robust white cells coming in to attack sickness. Her entire body was sick. So um, she was in liver failure, kidney failure. Um, she was on a respirator. They had to do uh, an emergency chest tube at 2 o'clock in the morning. Later that afternoon, they had to literally just put a needle in her abdomen and withdraw fluid. Doing laundry. 
I get to do laundry for both of you. It's a privilege. Yeah, it's Every just, day. Yeah, it's a privilege. It's a 